the rules. Stop worrying that crackpots are inserting their dogma into Texas school books. Sure, replacing Thomas Jefferson with Phyllis Shafley is troubling, but it's Texas. The only use Texans have for textbooks is to sit on them so they can get a better view of the football game. <laughs> The last person to even notice Texas had school books was Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> and <laughs> now you had to be there. Finally, new rule. And finally, new rule. Let's not fire the teachers when students don't learn. Let's fire the parents. Now. Last week, President Obama defended the firing of every single teacher in a struggling high school in a poor Rhode Island neighborhood, and the kids were outraged. They said, why blame our teachers? And who's President Obama? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> I think it was Whitney Houston who said, I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. And that's the last sound piece of educational advice this country has gotten from a crackhead in the 1980s. <laughs> now, I know what you're saying, but Bill, what do you know about raising kids? You don't have any. Yeah, I also don't have any fish, but I know not to fill their tank with Mountain Dew. <laughs> or to enter a kid in a beauty pageant or let him be an altar boy. What you do with your spawn affects me. They're the ones who run me over while they're texting. <laughs> because they're using an online dictionary to spell, where are you at? <laughs> yes, America has found its new boogeyman to blame for our crumbling educational system. It's just too easy to blame the teachers. What with their cushy teacher lounges, and their fat cat salaries, and their absolute authority about who gets a hall pass. <laughs> but isn't it convenient that once again it turns out that the problem isn't us and the fix is something that doesn't require us to change our behavior or spend any money. It's so simple. Fire the bad teachers. Hire good ones from some undisclosed location. <laughs> And hey, while we're at it, let's cut taxes more. It's the kind of comprehensive educational solution that could only come from a completely ignorant people. Yes, firing all the... <laughs> firing all the teachers may feel good. We're Americans. Kicking people when they're down is what we do. What matters is what parents do. The number one predictor. The number one predictor of a child's academic success is parental involvement. It doesn't, it's been proven that just having books in the house makes a huge difference in a child's development. If your home is adorned with nothing but Hummel dolls, DVDs, congratulations, you've just given your children the gift of duh. So when there are no books in the house and there are no parents in the house, you know who raises the kids? You're watching it now.